Parts of California are buried by a blizzard that dumped more than, listen to this, seven feet of snow in the Sierra Nevada this weekend. The system brought hurricane force winds knocking down power lines and leaving thousands without power. As that system exits, a larger portion of Northern California is bracing for even more dangerous winter weather, including heavy snow today. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is in Truckee, California, near Lake Tahoe, where he has been witnessing just relentless snow. Uh, <laughs> Carter, uh, great to see you. Great to see you uh, unburied from the snow. Uh, the blizzard hit hard in Truckee, where you were over the weekend. How are things looking there? How bummed are those ski bums who can't go skiing over the weekend? Oh, uh, well, first of all, they're ready to ski today. I mean, for sure. Everybody's <laughs> waxing up their skis, loading up the cars. They are ready to go. As far as how things look around here now, I, I mean, check this out. We got four feet of snow here, and there was some wind blowing it all around, so we got drifts higher than I am. We got piles of snow, 25 feet, where they've been doing snow removal. They were doing snow removal throughout the storm. I was quite impressed. They did not stop at all. Everybody kept going the whole time. The restaurant stayed open. Most of the businesses stayed open through this blizzard. It was interesting to watch. It was amazing, really, to watch how they handled this and, and kept the roads open. Well, that's really great to hear that at least businesses were open. It's an area that attracts so much tourism, especially for snow sports. So what are small business owners saying about the impact on the local economy? Is it surprisingly better? Yeah, you look <laughs> out here and see white, they see green. <laughs> they know that this is going to be really good for business. This much snow could actually extend the season. So it's kind of been a weak season for them so far. Not real good snow. Uh, and they know that it is going to be a mad dash now to get up the mountain to take advantage of all this fresh powder over the yeah. next few days into the next week. And it's going to be a big boon for businesses here. Uh, this area sees about 15 million people every year. Uh, they, they spend collectively about $5 billion. So it's no joke. Mm, I can tell you the lines are long. There's a lot of powder in Jackson Hole where I was last week and all of that, the lines were so long because people kept wanting to ski in that powder that I ate much of. But real quick, before we let you go, Carter, yes. you are very tall. You're, I'm sure, over six feet tall. Can you show us just how tall the snow is around you, if you don't mind? Yes, um, we'll do a little bit of an ugly pan here <laughs> past the light, but I want to walk over to this oh pile of snow. Uh, you know, this is not a natural right. pile. I would say it's probably 20 feet tall. There we go. Got the light out of the way. Uh, this is where they've been shoveling the snow off the road yeah. onto. And if we pan a little further over, even over here, you get a better idea wow. of what the natural snowfall is like. Uh, you see those poles with the yeah. blue on the tip right there they're probably up about five feet right and there those so windows that buried. really gives you an idea yeah yeah and i know you went skiing this weekend too <laughs> and, and i and i urge people to check out your instagram because <laughs> if you want a good laugh that was really impressive your skills oh man i, I promise you i'm better Amazing. than that but it's funnier to see me fall carter evans thank you for that promo <laughs>